हेलो एवरी वन आई होप एवरीबडी इज फाइन एंड दिस इज मी बर्ष एज अलवेज यू कैन सी आई यूज टू कैम उथ यू एंड अपन साथे हमें शेयर करी अबाउट सम एक्सपिरियंस अबाउट कख गल्प कख देखा जाए डिफरेंट यूनिवार्सिटर इनफरमेशन सो कारेंटली आई ढाते ढाई ढाते जो गुलशने अवस्थित और आर साथ एक गेस्ट अलरेडी आम आगे तरह परिचय करिए दी हमारे आज मिस्टर सुमित अगरवाल हेड अफ अपारेशन साउथ एशिया फर बैंकोवर यूनिवार्सिटी बैंकोवर आईलैंड यूनिवार्सिटी एज वेल एज किंगस यूनिवार्सिटी एंड वेस्टार्न यूनिवार्सिटी ओके फ्रम कानाडा सो हेलो सर गुड थैंक्स फर बिंग this evening okay first of all welcome to bangladesh do you like the weather of bangladesh i guess thank no. you so much uh, <laughs> well i can't complain much because it's i am so from india outside. right i am from india and it's very similar to the weather there that that's true that's right. so yeah, bangladesh is kind of your neighbor that's, that's right kind of nice it's, it's actually it is our neighbor. neighbor yes so i hope everything is fine everything is fantastic okay yeah so let's start with uh, vancouver island university um Uh, let us let our viewers know mm-hmm. about it sure uh, so vancouver island university is a public university a government university situated in uh, nanaimo british columbia that's the western part of canada mm-hmm. uh, we are a very old university having been established in 1936 okay. viu is a mid sized city uh, mid sized uh, university with roughly around 15000 students oh. 3000 international students 3000 and uh, we offer close to 200 programs at various levels 200 okay you have different faculties yeah we have How about faculties? seven faculties mm-hmm. and uh, we offer undergrad programs and master programs we offer pg diplomas and undergrad diplomas okay so is there any special scholarship schemes for asian student or bangladeshi students well uh, we have uh, we don't have country specific scholarships but we have a lot of international scholarships mm-hmm. based on academics based on students uh, non academic achievements okay and then there are continuing scholarships on the basis of students performance in the program okay. so what are the eligibility for a student to uh, apply on this university different programs have different admission requirements so i can give you a brief overview of undergrad programs mm. for bachelor degrees the general admission requirement is around 60% in 60% hsc, in HSC. Okay. or uh, a level or ib we need 24 you need the 60% uh, that's right and ielts requirement is 6.5 no band less than 6 okay uh, there are certain programs that have specific mathematics requirement and uh, similarly master programs or pg programs mm-hmm. again the academic requirement is 60% and the ielts requirement is 7 overall nothing less than 6.5 that being said i know the ielts requirement is little higher mm-hmm. but we offer esl pathway programs for students who are not able to get that ielts score okay so esl is a uh, uh, extra program for esl is english as a second language that's an additional uh, semester to an year of english language program before okay. the actual academic program begins okay so what are the next intakes uh the next available intake is september 2019 our uh, admissions yes our admissions for next fall open in october this year so essentially our admissions mm-hmm. o- start around one year ahead of the intake okay so the people who wants to apply they have to get the preparation right now the, uh, this is they the right to. time to prepare for applying mm-hmm. admissions open in october the seats okay. in canada these days go very exactly, fast like exactly. they they are taken be- even before you can imagine exactly okay ami amar viewer der sathe arekbar ekটু connect koriye dei amar sathe mr sumit agarwal achen uni er sathe tinta different university tinta different institution er representative to amra tar kache theke etokhon biu mane vancouver island university somporke janchilam so kono queries thakle do ask us on live amra chesta korbo answer korar othoba apnake message korar so amra ekhon jeta janbo amra we are going to talk about kings university so ei ta niye jodi if you are sure so king introduction about yeah so kings university college at the western university that's a long name It's the okay. undergraduate business and liberal arts school at the University of Western Ontario or the Western University of Canada. Okay, it's King University College at Western University. So Okay, I thought that's the two different
different institutes. No. Oh, I messed up. That's all right. Okay, uh, okay. It's uh, it's a long name, and anybody mm -hmm. can get confused. Okay, okay. Uh, so Western University is one of the top five universities in Canada. Again, it's a public institution, mm -hmm. and it's one of the. It's ranked amongst one percent universities, top one percent universities in the world. So it's a very highly accredited university. Mm -hmm. And as I said, King's is the undergrad business and liberal arts school there. So anybody who is interested in studying four-year bachelor degrees in liberal arts or business can study at King's. Okay. So uh, the same question goes for the, these universities. Is there any special scholarships? Oh, yes. Uh, we have a lot of uh, scholarships. Uh, King's uh, recognizes academic um, uh, achievements of the students and uh, based on that we offer uh, a lot of scholarships our minimum scholarship is ten thousand dollars per student it goes up to fifteen sixteen thousand depending on the uh, hsc results. or uh, a level scores of the student and this is just the first year scholarship they are continuing scholarships of similar amounts every year okay. so that's like more than one third of a student's scholarship every year okay so uh, the about the session uh, King's has two intakes every year, September and January. We are open for January. Students who are interested in uh, attending us this January, they can start their applications right now because uh, we are open till middle of October. And January admissions will open in January next year. Uh, sorry, September for 2019. The admissions will open in January 2019. So these are the overall uh, session, your overall uh, information about these two institutes. But after that, so many students already have some questions. So many students have some question: Am I eligible or not? What should I need? So, in overall, uh, how they would uh, take their preparation or um, uh, the prominent consultant or the Canadian University Center, that's our uh, institution. How they will help them? So. Uh Students who are interested in applying at Vancouver Island University or the King's University College, they can get in touch with Prominent in Dhaka. Uh, they are one of our authorized consultants and they will help you with preparing your application, uh, you know, guiding you once you get your offer letter. They will help you with the visa process as well. Uh, that being said, uh, the university also provides a lot of support system even before you arrive on campus, once you are accepted, we keep you posted about uh, the steps that you need to take, including registration of courses, booking of residences, you know. So there are a lot of steps involved before you take that big flight. Uh, we keep, uh, we try to make sure that we are able to handhold you as much as possible. Thank you so much, sir. Anything else, uh, if I missed, or anything you want to share with us? Well, uh, you did not ask me the admission requirements for Kings. Exactly. Uh, so, Kings, as I told you, uh, it's only for undergrad students. So, students uh, who have just finished their HSC or A levels or IB or are about to finish their uh, high school can apply uh, for our programs. We need uh, around 80%, that's our admission requirement. And the IELTS requirement is 6.5, nothing less than 6. Uh, that's pretty easy to achieve. And uh, yeah, so students can definitely look forward to apply at Kings. Okay, thank you so much for joining. Oh. Uh, this is the end of the this uh, live session. So if you want to say bye-bye to the people. <laughs> all right, Bangladesh, you've been always very nice to me. I love uh, coming back to the country. This is my third visit to Bangladesh in less than a year's time. So you can imagine how much I love coming back to the country. And I look forward to meeting you, each one of you in person sometime soon. Thank you and have a great evening. Bye-bye. Okay, so viewers, I'm going to talk to you about Mr. Sumit Agarwal. I'm going to talk to you about the different institutes. So I hope you have done a lot of work. For more details, you can go and visit the Facebook page or you can call over the phone number. Thank you so much.